Hello there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome to another engine tutorial. This one is my design and this is a train switcher or a car switcher. I figured every yard that we have in Minecraft, whether you do a uh, shipping docks yard or a shunting yard or something like that, we need to have an engine for switching the cars. So I went ahead and made one. This one is based around the Union Pacific switcher, the EMD MP15AC is the picture that I actually used to make this. Um, it does resemble the uh, the Chessy system one and a couple other ones that I looked at. So you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna call it a train switcher. Um, you can brand it however you like. So anyways, this is what we're gonna be building and the materials that we're gonna be using, again, is whatever color that you want for the main body. I'm using all yellow. Again, that's why it looks like the Chessy system. Uh, I did have a red stripe at the top from the original picture, and I, it kind of looked kind of shitty, so I took it out. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm using nether brick uh, fence, stairs, and slabs for the trimming. Uh, again, if you do not have this and you're on PC and you don't have my texture pack or one similar, you can trim it out with a, uh, a yellow and a white, so you can use quartz on the side. Uh, I think it would look very good, or even stone bricks. Uh, stone bricks and maybe even uh, you know some kind of a darker gray color on the top would look really, really good. Uh, also too, I have a block of iron for where it connects to the other train cars. Uh, again, with the iron bars, we've got hoppers underneath here. I'm gonna be using bedrock for the wheels. Uh, another brick fencing, cobblestone walls for the top, glass, uh, and then different things for your trimmings. So uh, item, item frames and whatever you're gonna put in that for your lights and sign. I got a sign on the side. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the train switcher. That's the materials we're gonna need. Let's drop right down here and let's build it. All right, so start with your bedrock and put down your wheels just like that. Leave three spaces in between. And then on the outsides of those, you're gonna put your hoppers just like this. And then iron block goes in between your hoppers. Same thing on the other side. And then go ahead and fill in with your nether brick slab or whatever slab that you're using, uh, whether it be quartz or stone brick. And then across the back and across the front, but just in front of the wheels. All right, we got seven in between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth block. That's where the pattern repeats. So it goes back to three wide. And in front of those, that's where your wheels are. So put your wheels down, skip three spaces, put a block, put a block, and then in between, fill that in. And then same thing out in front and make this five wide. Put your hoppers and then your iron blocks. All right, so that's what you should have so far. All right, so we're gonna make this middle three wide. Same thing on the other side. And then go to a full block of nether brick or quartz. All right, towards the front of your uh, engine, which is going to be, for me, on the right-hand side, you're gonna skip one block and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna have two blocks here in the back. Now you can make it even, oops, I don't know where I was going. <laughs> you can make this even if you want. Uh, so you, I'd say I've got one there and then two back here. If you want to go ahead and make that even, you can, but if you're following mine, that's the way I have it. So same thing on the other side, towards the front, skip one block and put six, and then leave two in the back. So again, now that's what we should have. All right, let's go ahead and build these up by one more. And then grab whatever color you're gonna use for the main body, and starting just behind the hopper, we're gonna go three wide and then just run this all the way to the front to the exact same spot on the front piece. All right, and just beyond the hopper. All right, back here on the back, we're gonna have three pieces of solid and then same thing on the front. And I'm gonna probably be bouncing around front to back because some of it is the same. We're gonna grab our stairs, we're gonna put stairs on the outside right there and right here, and of course, over here. All right, back to this back corner, and grab our slabs, and go ahead and connect across here, and on the back, and up to the front. 
All right, on the outside of these stairs, we're gonna have a set of upside down stairs on all four corners. And then one more iron block right in the very middle. And you can go ahead and put your iron bars on now if you want to, or you can do it later. One goes underneath, one goes on the outside, and one goes on the bottom. I'm not gonna do the front, but it's exactly the same. All right, back to the body color, and you're gonna put two to the outside, skip one in the middle, put two to the outside, and you're gonna put a stair in right here. All right, back to your yellow, and you're gonna go forward by six. So, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and make that solid, and hang over the other side. All right, now go forward 15, covering up the other one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And if you did it right, it should come out right on top of the one underneath. All right, on the back of the train, we're gonna have three solid blocks across the back. So grab your another brick or whatever you're using, just like this. And then a fence post on each side, right here and right here. All right, the front is just a hair different. We're gonna have solid blocks all the way across the front. Just like that. And you're gonna put your fence posts on top of that. So it looks just like this. All right, next layer up. You are gonna build all the yellow up by one. And you can leave the middle of the train empty if you want to, you're not gonna see it anyways. That's up to you. All right, just like that, we're gonna put some fence posts across the back, three pieces right here. All right, back to your yellow, and on this sixth block, we're gonna double that up right here. Just like that. All right, and on the inside of that right here, we're gonna put a step right there and right here. All right, take your slabs and run just in front of the stairs right here, and take that down to the end, and then take some upside down stairs, and those are going to go in right here and cover that up with fence posts. Same thing on the other side. Grab your slabs, go just underneath the step, and then run back with your upside down stairs and cover it with fence posts. All right, so that's what you should have at this moment in time. All right, continue building everything up again by one. And right here where the steps are, you're gonna put another set right above it. And then cover up on the outside, whoops, with an, uh, another body piece color and one on top. So here and there, and continue forward. All right, so just like that so far, all right guys, let's go ahead and continue on and we're gonna go ahead and take off a couple of these blocks right here. I made it just a tad bit too high. And we're gonna put two blocks here and two blocks here. And if you have a ladder on you, you're gonna put that right up the middle. All right, back around to the side, you're gonna put one on top here and then two back. So you're gonna have three total right there. And of course the same thing on the other side, you're gonna come out by one and then go forward. And then we're gonna fill in the middle. Leave a two block gap right here for your cab, so right next to your stairs, and go ahead and start filling everything up. All right, when you reach the front, we're gonna switch over to our block of iron. We're gonna skip one spot in the front and go one, two, three, four, and we're gonna put in those right there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this thing out by putting glass here on the, uh, the top pieces, three in the middle, and then same thing here, and then grab your slabs and outline that. And same thing over here. All right, we're gonna go out the front by three and then build this up. And then we're gonna have one here in the corner and one here in the corner. And go one more forward just like that and build that up one more time. Sorry, I'm looking at the back and not the front. And then take full blocks down the middle. And then same thing down the back. So go ahead and build this up and then go back by three. So you have a little cab on top of it that looks just like that. Leave your half slabs in hand and go ahead and start covering up the front of the train. Come on now. All right, change this fourth block out. You only need three. I kind of screwed up. And when you reach this point here, grab your stairs and go that way and wrap around. 
and then put a half slab in the middle and two iron bars just like that. All right, go back to your slabs. All right, starting at the cab, count three blocks in one, two, three, and put one, skip one, and put one, and then bring that out. And then put a cobblestone wall piece on top of that. And do the same thing, skip three, one, two, three, and come across here and put a piece of cobblestone wall. And then that is it for the train switcher. Now, as far as your detailing goes, you can use uh, trap doors and you can put a set right here. You actually can put them wherever you want or don't put them on at all, however you want. I've got buttons every other uh, block. I've got a set of ladders right here and I put three trap doors to the inside. Uh, you can put a door here if you want to. Um, I don't have a door that looks really, really good on this train in my texture pack. I've got item frames with glowstone for lighting. Uh, same thing here in the front. I've got two high and then surrounded that with the trap doors. And of course, this is the exact same on that side. Uh, I've got a sign down here where you can label it. Uh, and then again, my lighting system around the corner with the item frames. And of course, the ladder going up the back. Again, if you want to put a door there, you can. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. So there you go, guys. There is your train switcher. Really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like always, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.